Hello guys, welcome back to our city skylines region of Carniferia. And in today's episode, we're gonna be primarily focusing on building some stuff you guys have been suggesting and correcting some stuff you guys have been uh, suggesting. Uh, and some of it fits really nicely into what I intended myself, so that's absolutely perfect. Uh, once again, thank you guys for all the comments on previous episodes. Uh, I do strive to read all of it, and it just it gives me a ton of inspiration, so that's fantastic. Um, so we'll be working in Port Douglas. That's right, uh, another decision made by you guys. Uh, we had a vote for the name of this capital city. And as you guys can see on your screen, Port Douglas uh, really just took the lead. And it's, uh, it's clearly the most well-liked suggestion. So we're going with that. It uh, might not be as exotic as some of the other suggestions, as many of you have uh, commented. But I actually think that it ties pretty nicely into the a name of the other city of the region which we've got back here pine harbor um i think uh, there's a there's a cool uh, sound to it the rivalry between port douglas and pine harbor so that's gonna be really interesting thank you guys so much for participating in the votes um there are two things that we're gonna try and see if we can fix up and uh, get working on in, in this episode and there are two of the most frequent comments from you guys so the first one, I don't know if you can guess it. I'll, I'll try to, I'll try to make some hints. No. Nothing yet. No idea. The traffic is. Um, some of you guys have said it's kind of bad. Now I'm, I'm not sure if it's. Is it that bad? Is it? It's a bit of queue, right? But the traffic is the worst I think I've ever seen. In, uh, in my game at least. I'm, I'm sure there's gonna be people out there that, that, that have had even worse traffic, but this is absolutely insane. Uh, the, the amount of traffic volume trying to enter the city is, uh, is insane. And even if you do manage to enter Port Douglas, like look at this guy, uh, or sorry, this, this woman, Holly Williams. I assume she's a woman, sorry. Um, Holly is uh, stuck in a queue here for the next hour. So, you know, being placed here, that's, uh, yeah, that's no guarantee of success uh, because you might feel that you're really close to the downtown core, but in reality, the downtown core is so insanely gridlocked that uh, <laughs> it stretches out here as well. Oh boy. So we're gonna work on trying to alleviate some of the traffic and we're probably just gonna use the uh, traffic uh, manager president uh, to, to, uh, to, to remove all traffic uh, after we've made some changes. Um, and then the other part we're gonna start working on in this episode is a tram network. Uh, that is something you guys have been suggesting over and over again and that really fits with my plans. So that's absolutely perfect. Um, we'll, we'll build a depot and we'll start laying up some tracks and we'll see if we have time to, um, to get the first major line established as well. It's always a bit wonky and difficult to work with the tram, but the end result is, in my opinion, almost always worth it. It's just such a cool uh, type of infrastructure to have. So I'm really excited about that. We've got uh, one more thing to actually cover uh, before we head on to uh, try and try and build a tram network and alleviate some traffic. And uh, that's uh, based on comments from you guys as well. Um, we need to establish a a rail a train line sorry between port douglas and pine harbor uh, so i think we're gonna we're gonna start with tackling uh, that one um because that's that's gonna be really cool right so we're gonna create our line here and then we'll see it should follow the bridge and did i create a train intersection up here i actually did cool so it goes beneath the highway across this bridge and and i guess that it's oh look we've got a, an intercity train here i guess that the shortest distance is actually for it to go alongside the river here 
and then cross into this uh, industrial peninsula. I'm sorry for the lag. It's always lagging a bit when I go to Pine Harbor for the first time after opening up a save, but then it, it just gets better for some reason. And I guess we could... We'll just add the stop here and then we'll go home, so to say, and we'll, we'll complete the line. Very nice. I've paused the game. Let's let's have a look at the, the trains we have. So we've got uh, we have tag field to downtown uh, with a single vehicle making that commuter trip, um, and then we've got a new line which of course goes from Port Douglas to uh, Pine Harbor and I guess I'm just gonna change this so that it says this one goes from tech field to Pine Harbor and let's just uh, oh sorry that's wrong no this is fine we can do this I think we're just gonna have two vehicles as a start and we're gonna use um, this one this uh, class 710 and let's uh, let's see how this looks. Ooh, it already spawned. Ah, that looks so good. And it looks like it has some pretty realistic uh, speed modifiers as well. I say that we grab. Uh, hopefully, you already got your cup of coffee with you, and then we just sit back and we. Make it just a tiny bit cinematic and then we enjoy a little train ride from the city of Port Douglas to Pine Harbor. Because it, it should cross some beautiful landscapes and infrastructure. And I bet everyone in the cars would uh, love to have been able to take a train into Port Douglas instead of uh, melting away here, but yeah. And we got a crossing here between two trains. Ah, that's fantastic. Yeah, we have two vehicles, of course, so they would cross at some point. So we've got the sleepy suburb of Danson up here. And we're crossing underneath this uh, highway. We've got the medium density Washington Park neighborhood just here in the distance. And then some of the um, older suburbs or neighborhoods rather of Pine Harbor. We're crossing onto the peninsula now, and we're entering the uh, industrial era and harbor of Pine Harbor. And we're just making a crawl through the uh, freight area of the port of Pine Harbor. And we'll just speed it up just a bit. And traffic in Pine Harbor is uh, terrible as well. It's not as great locked, but it's pretty bad. We'll need to work on that also. And here we are at the central station in downtown Pine Harbor. And it seems like we've already got some, uh, some passengers. <laughs> and the uh, much smaller commuter train from the town of Tagfield <laughs> is waiting so that it can also <laughs> reach the station. Maybe I should move the uh, the stop marker to 
the this piece of track for for this small commuter rail instead but this is kind of cool right look just passing by and you can really see the size difference here and the capacity difference so this is a proper big boy transporting people between two the two major cities of the region and this is a, a smaller commuter line um leading out to the town of Tagfield. And then of course the train is gonna continue to crawl here rather slowly through this area. There is a, an ordinance, a, a law basically in Pine Harbor that train traffic in uh, within the city limits. Uh, so basically up until this point uh, by the highway is limited to a really low speed. Um, because it's um, the it's the proximity to to a residential, as you guys can see, is yeah, it's really close. So that's a rule that's been in place for um, for a long time, as many decades actually. What we should see is that as soon as we get out, we yeah, as you guys can probably see by now, we're starting to pick up speed again. Um, because we are leaving the outskirts of Pine Harbor and then we'll just continue all the way back to Port Douglas, uh, all the way over here. Very cool. And the other line you saw, the commuter line, in case you're new to the channel, it stretches out here to uh, this, uh, this uh, town we've got out, out here, uh, Tagfield it's called, and this is the terminal station for that line. Now with that train line in uh, in place, um, I'd like to start work on the tram network. And the first thing we're gonna have to do is decide for a place to uh, build our tram uh, depots. Um, and I'm thinking of placing two different types of uh, of depots uh, and make the footprint quite quite big. Um, I know that that some cities that have really heavy tram usage, which Port Douglas might might end up having, uh, actually have you know multiple depots throughout the city um so i think it would be more realistic to uh, to to start off with quite a, a big depot just as a start and then we can always add more as we expand the, the tram network uh, i guess i can just briefly touch up on the plans initially as well so the first plan is just to convert this main avenue of port douglas into a uh, an avenue that supports trams and then we'll we'll basically take it from there uh, but yeah, I guess the, the goal um, in future episodes is to have the major population centers of Port Douglas be reachable by tram at least. And if we build some urban clusters out here, it could be really, really cool to have a super long tram line as well that cuts through some of this uh, beautiful nature. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. Uh, those are all future plans. Uh, by the way, a, a little disclaimer, if my, my voice sounds a little rough or coarse, uh, it's because I, I feel I have a, a bit of a cold, uh, which is also why I, I may not, I may talk a little less uh, during the rich rest of this episode than, uh, than usually, but I mean, that's less rambling and more building, so I hope that's okay. Anyways, I want to place this initial tram depot uh, rather central as well, and uh we're not gonna pick an easy location though maybe under this piece of highway here we can uh, we can use that oh this is gonna be tricky because i need some of it to be relatively flat um because the, the tram tracks are of course a little finicky to work with i think we're just gonna do it Let's see what we've got. So we've got this modern one. And we've got a bit of an older looking one. And I think we're gonna use, we're gonna use both actually. Um, let's see how we can do this the best way. So if we place this down here, and adjust it ever so slightly. Uh, 
Uh, it's got a couple of garages back here we're gonna have to kind of take care of as well. So let's just do that for now. Alright, we've got an access point to these garages, uh, which is, I guess this is this is good enough. Now the older depot, we're gonna have to find a suitable spot for that as well. And I'm thinking we're just gonna need some kind of super basic road that we can align it with. And then I'm thinking it could be on this side of the highway. So if we just uh, maybe do like this as a start we're just gonna use this road as a guideline um, and then we can we'll of course remove it just as a guideline for placing the the other depot So one thing to note about the tram tracks, uh, the, the tram network, sorry, that we'll be building is that we're going to use uh, a few different tram skins throughout the city. Uh, and that's going to be a bit of a necessity unless we want to use uh, fully uh, vanilla tram tracks. Um, so I'm going to have a mix of this uh, specialized tram network, uh, which I know uh, Clues has been involved in, uh, in creating, which is really nice looking and vanilla we're gonna have to mix the two and i guess the narrative is that some of the tracks have been modernized and updated a bit and some of are of a bit older stock and something along those lines uh, but i think it's gonna be a bit of a necessity because uh, neither the vanilla tram network or the custom one can kind of there are some finicky bits uh, with both networks so we're gonna have to mix them up a bit uh, along the way All right, so I think we're gonna we're gonna make some changes here and make it a little more complex, actually, um, because we're gonna need a larger footprint for the depot uh, as a whole for this to to make sense and being able to connect all these tracks without it looking super weird.
All right, so this took way too long, but uh, and there's still more detailing that that could be done. But I think now we've got ourselves a a pretty proper uh, initial uh, tram depot. Um, I did the best I could with making these tracks uh, look look all right. Um, we've added some some random industry throughout the place. Um, you know, uh, warehouses with spare parts, maybe some repair equipment. Um, uh, this is a, an office building, or it's it's an industrial building, but it, it has some offices. Um, we've added the, the main office of the riot company that operates the trams here in Port Douglas. Uh, and over here, we've got some of the, the more original tram infrastructure, the an older depot, basically, and some repair shops and warehouses. Uh, relevant to the to the depot as well so now comes the uh, <laughs> i don't want to say easy part because it's certainly not easy but we're going to build the tram network and um we're going to use these uh, light rail um tram networks by clues and we'll see if we have all the tools available to us for all the the use cases that we need when we reach downtown uh, Port Douglas, I fear it's going to be a little finicky. And as I said, that we're going to have to switch between some vanilla tracks and some of these. And yeah, we'll we'll see if um, how it looks. And uh, yeah, let's let's just get going. And we'll reassess if uh, if need be. So for instance, I really like uh, these tracks, but I can't place um, an actual stop here. So that's just something I need to keep aware of. Whenever I want to make a stop, I'll need to uh, choose a different set of tracks. Right, so down here we've just made a really simple uh, loop, which didn't take a long time at all. <laughs> and let's take a little tour of what we've got so far. Uh, we're using a bit of different uh, set of tracks here. Then they uh, combine here into this tree laden avenue. We're gonna change the trees, of course. Then it uh, changes to this type of track here because we're gonna need a stop here. And I think we are also gonna need a stop. Let's see. We can have a stop in front of the train station. We can have a stop here and we'll have a stop here as well. And we can have a, I, we can add stops to this. So that shouldn't be an issue. So that's very nice. Now, very cool. Let's try and add some stops and see if we can get our first tram network going. Um, so, like I said, uh, we know we want to stop in front of our huge train station. So we'll add one here and then we know we want to stop here in the heart of downtown Port Douglas. We're going to add a stop here as well. And then out here, we'll add a stop here and I would love to have an additional node to easily add uh, a stop down here. So let's see if we can just be a bit cheeky, add a node and have a stop uh, here, I think. Actually, I'm quite annoyed I can't add a stop to this segment. That would be a little nicer if it allowed for a stop. 
I'm just gonna see if I can upgrade to some version where I can have a stop. I can. Uh, have a stop down here. That's really nice. There you go. And I'll adjust the curvature. I know it looks completely wonky. <laughs> <laughs> in front of the train station cool we're gonna need a stop up here as well uh let's see right here or here let's just have a stop right here and we'll have a stop here as well we're gonna develop this at one point in time so there you go We've got our very first tram line. This is really interesting. So let's see what models I have. I've downloaded this uh, E1 class, also the ride network. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how that's gonna uh, fletch out. Let's see, nine vehicles, I don't think so. Let's uh, start with three and just kinda assess the situation. I'm also thinking that I probably need to do some detailing of the stops. Um, yeah, because uh, no props seem to be auto-placed, so I'll have to detail up the stops, but I mean, that's that's a fun task he here as well. Uh, out here, though, uh, it, it creates these really cool stops on this uh, type of uh, tram segment, and I need to update this as well, even though this, this does actually look kind of cool. It looks kind of cool because we see the transition and there's a crosswalk but nah, let's let's just update it and like i said we can there's a nice stop out here as well ah that's nice but they will yeah <laughs> look at the curvatures out here that's amazing <laughs> let's see uh, yeah that's uh that's a little better for now it's okay we can uh, we can always adjust and then we've got these tracks uh, with these trees i'm thinking we might start fixing up the trees already i don't think these are what we want uh, so i'm gonna increase the distance to 30 on each lane and then i would like some of the beautiful uh, pine shores that we've been using i think this is what we're going with it's not too heavy and it's look so shore pine 05 cool let's grab that must be this one yes and then we'll update yeah i like that look a lot more and we've increased the distance to 30 just to have a bit more space But I think I'm actually just gonna put that down to 25 because that was a bit too much, I guess. Update this and in here, in the heart of downtown. And I only had the stop on one of these. So the other one can prefer, let's see where we have, we have the stop on uh, this segment cool so we can we can update we can upgrade this whoa that was wrong but also a cool segment i must say but we can upgrade this like so um although there is actually a bit of a, a texture difference here so i'm gonna redo that and then we're just gonna add some nice fillers i think we're gonna we're gonna figure out something yes all right, I think that looks really cool. Can't wait to uh, to see how this turns out when we get the trams running. Now, what are we gonna call this first line? Um, that's a, yeah, I don't know, L1, line one, because it's the main uh, furrow line that just crosses through Port Douglas. That's not very creative. So if you've got a suggestion for a name, that would uh, probably summarize this um, slender line, then uh, let me know. I think it's time that we hit play and see what we've got. 
Uh, so I guess that they can spawn from both depots actually. If they're gonna spawn at all. There you go. Our very first tram. Look at this model guys. Ah, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. And let's follow this one as it moves along. Looks like it's got some realistic speed as well. Goes into the tunnel. Goodbye. And we'll wait for it over here. There it is. That is so cool. I love tram networks. And we've got another one coming right there. Now I'm really curious to see what kind of passenger amount we are going to see because of course the trams aren't actually going to alleviate any of the current traffic because the current traffic situation and the chaos it, it, it endures is that's like an influx of new residents, uh, new workers to, to Port Douglas. So I think we have a, yeah, we have a, do we have a stop here? No, we don't. And now the tr oh, I wonder if we will need to change this because the <laughs> the queues are so bad in Port Douglas that the trams are affected as well. And I guess the main reason is that the the, the bridge we built here, and the reason I didn't choose this road for the bridge is that it isn't supported as a bridge piece. The bridge we built here doesn't actually have dedicated tram lanes, so traffic can and will use that. That's interesting. Let's see if we've got some sort of a bridge. Uh, that's a really cool piece, but no. And this one, no, that's not dedicated either. This one is, but it... Whoa, what? <laughs> Okay, sorry, I just messed up the road beneath. So this one is dedicated, but uh, then there's nothing for the traffic. Uh, hmm. So then if we use this, we'd have to make it really custom. Make like a really custom interchange. And I don't think I'm up for that right now. What else we got that can be made into a bridge? this segment it looks really cool i i do i do feel that but oh that's a bit of a surprise we can actually just use this piece it works as uh, as a bridge unit as well so I guess that's just how we're gonna do. That was easier than uh, than I expected. Let's see if our uh, our little friend here can then move along. Uh, yes. And we've got a bunch of people purring out of the central station. Ah, how cool is that? So apparently a train just uh, arrived. And we've got our trams serving downtown. Look at this. I'm a I'm a huge fan. If you can, uh, if you if you if you've noticed. <laughs> now this should be interesting. <laughs> this is just insane. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to, you know, to we're gonna have to clear the traffic because currently it's it's so messed up that I wouldn't even know what to start with the traffic fixes, uh, and I don't think we're gonna get far with those in this episode because we are, we're running out of time. So I think we're gonna clear traffic. There you go, trams included, no traffic at all anywhere, and then we're gonna start over, and we'll we'll see how much the trams can help alleviate. Um, traffic within the city. And 
and a bit of a cool scene for all the train nerds out there. Hope you enjoy, I know I do. And now we're starting to get our first passengers using the trams. Uh, but not enough for it to stop apparently. <laughs> Um, but uh, that should help us when they stop because it will allow us to create the stations that we need. We're of course gonna have to, to customize them. And we're gonna have to do something about these, uh, these, these, we've got inter intersections everywhere. We're gonna have to fix that as part, part of a bigger amount of overall traffic fixes. And I've just just paused the game because this one has just boarded the first eight passengers, and that kind of allows me. Um, I can now see basically where this um, where the station is going to be placed. This custom station. So uh, let's get cracking with, uh, and I'll, I'm hopeful that I can create sort of an, an interesting design here. So one thing I'd like to do first is to add some additional nodes so that we can create a more compact um, station design with the intersection marking tool that we can then copy paste uh, because I'd like to see if I can create a bit of an interesting design here. So the station is still placed in the center and I assume that even though I created extra nodes then the tramps are probably gonna stop here but we're just gonna wait for the next one. See if someone wants to pick up ramps here. And there you go. Gramps is uh, now boarding the tram and that's uh, good. It means that the tram is still parked right at the center here, but I've got some other nodes. Uh, I've got three nodes now, that I, uh, a free segment, sorry, due to extra nodes so that I can create a more special design. So I think one thing I would like to add with intersection marking tool is some sort of guardrail here to ensure that um, people don't get hurt by the cars. So I've just created a solid line now and we're gonna go and we're gonna select prop. So for now I've added these uh, light columns um, every eight meters and there's bollards every two meters and I had some issue adding like a fence or a guardrail uh, a prop so if I don't like this I might just manually end up changing it out with a fence uh, a, a prop fence um, unfortunately and then just place it manually unfortunately I just didn't have any luck actually uh, adding it to the right here the prop asset any fence won't actually show up so if you guys know what I might be uh, be doing wrong then then please uh, let me know so I'm just gonna add this over here as well Then for this area surrounding the, the station, I'm adding just a tiny grass filler here where maybe we can have some small trees or something like that. Gonna copy paste it over here, cool. And we'll now need to add some, uh, some station assets. And unfortunately, we're also gonna have to add these manually. I just, I haven't figured out how uh, to use the, uh, the the prop line tool to add it. The question is if we should have a bit of a different color here for the track. Uh, sorry for the, the the place in the station where you where you stand and wait for the tram. I think this uh, this red looks kind of cool. 
we can lower the it's it's sort of like for the buses right we like to use red as well to designate throughout the region that uh, this is where we'll have buses I think I like this filler. I'm gonna grab that and I'm gonna add it over here as well. And then we are really starting to have a customized uh, tram station look. Great, let's just copy paste this to some other stations and, and see how it looks. So just added another node as well here. Just so we can add this nice. We're gonna grab this segment and add it here. So I've just upgraded or rather changed the tram pieces, uh, the network pieces here on the stretch of downtown uh, because uh, one issue uh, which the, the author also notes on the Steam Workshop page with using these is that if these connect the same way then you can't actually remove stoplights. Uh, if you use one of these, so I'll just highlight this, so if we remove this we get this clipping error that isn't uh, all too easily. Uh, fixed it seems um, then I mean it would have to be some surface network uh, stuff that we could use to fix it but I'm, I'm yeah I'm not uh, I'm not sure if that's actually gonna work um, it's I guess it's we'd need to use some ash, asphalt here and I don't want this to clip into anything And we'll just only have nodes selected. And we'll see if we can easily cover it up so that we can remove the stoplight because we're gonna need to remove some stoplights basically because um, it's gonna be a necessity in the city to make it work basically. So it would seem that... Oh, I need to be really careful what I'm doing now. <laughs> Just adjusting this ever so slightly, and yeah, I mean, I we can do like this. Uh, it's gonna be really finicky, and then remove the stoplight. So I guess it's it's not exactly impossible. Um, but here it's a little easier to just have this type of tram line because here we can actually just remove the stoplight, and then that's that's gonna work. That's just gonna work uh, up front. And we'll even be able to, I think, uh, no, we can't remove the crosswalks. So that's another issue with using these. Uh, we cannot remove crosswalks. So these are actually really finicky to use in this area because this is a part of the city where we're gonna need to do something clever, I think, to make the traffic work. So um, maybe we are gonna look into having some really uh, specifically set up time traffic lights. Um, that could be one way to do it, yeah. So I'm gonna have to uh, use um, the tools I have available here to attempt and hide this uh, crosswalk and then we're gonna have to pretty much customize the intersection. to our liking. So yeah, it's gonna be a bit detail heavy now.
All right. Damn, this was super finicky to uh, to get to work and and hopefully look good as well. Um, there are yeah, like I've mentioned, there are a couple of obvious limitations in in how uh, we can use these these roads, but I think they uh, they look really cool, and I think we've got we've gotten off to a great start of our light rail slash tram uh, network. I'm really looking forward to seeing the. A car up here go through this segment which is really heavily detailed so i didn't get many you know actual traffic fixes done uh in this episode safe to say um so we'll have to we'll have to work on that uh, in uh, in future episodes getting that traffic up to speed um because uh, we are probably gonna run into issues uh, soon ish again we're already starting to see a bit of a queue here um, but yeah, so far so good, but I had to clear all traffic for, for it to be better looking. So let's see if we can get this, uh, this tram. And we definitely need to fix this, right? We can't have this many, uh, this, whoa, 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 whoa. what are you doing? Ah, oh, constantly stuff to fix. You can't, oh, I, you can't actually do that. My bad. Let's, okay. Hopefully this looks nice. So something works. That is kind of cool. That's great. I like that. Okay. So ideally we're going to remove this traffic light um, and simply not allow one to make a left turn here. Um, but if we do that, then we probably need to adjust these roads altogether because then it doesn't make much sense to have a, a free laner in each direction. So I think one thing I might do is just downgrade these so that they don't have three uh, lanes, but maybe just two and the same over here. And then we can easily justify removing a traffic light here and then custom uh, doing some custom stuff to cover it up uh, as we've done over here. But maybe this is gonna turn out pretty cool, having the park be uh, a little asynchronous, I guess you could say. Having it widen over here as the three laners turn into two laners and vice versa over here. I think we're gonna do that actually. That looks kind of sweet and now we've only got a couple of lanes here to sort of I guess you could say seal off so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this type of network again and we're gonna continue it over here I think then we're grabbing this and we're gonna try and uh, that, that, oh, that didn't work at all. <laughs> Why not? It's kind of simple, this one. Oh, there you go. Oh my, let's see. Yes, that is beautiful. Very nice. And then let's see if we can just cover up the stuff we need. We are going to remove the traffic light because now we should be able to without it uh, looking bad. Yes, we were able to create, we just remove this entirely. And we'll make sure you can't walk across here, but that you can over there. That's completely fine, of course. Then we can grab this segment and hopefully just copy paste it. Yes. We'll just remove this 
tree and instead we're gonna grab our wonderful carnivores and we can grab that decal as well that's fine with me all right i'm hopeful that's gonna alleviate some of the issues we don't want the tram to stop here arbitrarily because it's it's the cars are too big it's gonna stick out which is uh, just obviously not what we want. So I'm just gonna make absolutely sure here that everything that would interfere in this uh, is disabled good. So now traffic should be enforced. So that's great. And we've got a time traffic light over here and um, uh, and that's fine, that's fine, cool. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna stain it and damage it up a bit just to make it look a little more natural I suppose or that's a weird way to say that I'm trying to make the transition from this texture to this texture uh, as, as subtle as possible basically But there you go now one one additional thing we could do um is cover up uh some of these tracks here yeah we could do like this right uh, as a way of covering up if i could actually find the node but I think that level of detail is uh, probably for another time. I am confident this uh, episode is turning out to be quite long. I've at least recorded a ton by now and it's been super finicky to work with. Um, but hopefully the results is uh, all worth it. I'll make sure to get some uh, some nice looking cinematics of, uh, of this tram network. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me for this long <laughs> in this uh, this episode. It's probably a long one. Uh, like I said at the beginning, sorry if my, my voice has been a little rough. I, I have a bit of a cold. Uh, my plan was to not talk all that much, but yeah, that obviously didn't work out as planned because I've been rambling on and on. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for the continued support. If you uh, like my content and this video, feel free to subscribe and enable notifications. I uh, would really appreciate if you would uh, like this uh, video and post a comment of whatever you're feeling or thinking. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I guess that's it. I can't wait to continue with this city now that we've got tram a tram network established in uh, Port Douglas and we've We've built this really big tram depot that should, at least for the foreseeable future, be able to uh, realistically support uh, many uh, tram networks. Uh, one thing we need to add is the ability for the trams to make a loop um, so that they can just get back on track. Right now, I'm pretty confident that they're actually going back to the depot before heading out again. And that's that's obviously not what we want, uh, but it's it's just going to stay like that for now. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much and uh, have a really great day. Bye.